All right, got my new monitor today from Big Cloth Craft. It is a 27 inch IPS panel with a 1440p resolution. I'm gonna take it out of the box now and uh, see what's all inside. It's pretty surprise at the packaging. Um, others I've seen that ordered from Big Cloth just had shipped from the, the box itself um, with all the shipping stickers and everything on it. Um, this one had foam wrapped all around it, which I was pretty surprised and happily, you know. Um, when I ordered this, I ordered the Matrix Neo, but unfortunately, they well, or maybe fortunately, I'm not sure, um, he was out of the stock of the non pixel perfect. Um, so he gave me this one, a Pixel, per Pixel Perfect QNIX, never heard of them before, um, which was a little bit more expensive, but he didn't charge me any extra for it, so, so far so good, I guess. Um, on the box you can see, I'm assuming that's Korean, um, but it does have some English on it as well, hopefully the manual does too. Uh, let's see some of the, uh, the flash won't let me get that. I'll get that in a minute when I turn the flash off. Um, top of the box, yeah, pretty much the same deal. Gives you their website, but uh, when you go there, you can't read it unless you know Korean. Uh, the sides. I'll just give you a picture of it and more gibberish in Korean. Again, stuff I don't know. And the other side is pretty much the same deal. Hey, maybe get an umbrella with it too, I don't know. Alright, uh, and we'll get this tape off here. Oops. Looks like the box was open at some point and just taped shut again. Maybe it was, they were checking it or... I don't know. I don't care as long as it works. of goodies. Let's see what's in that. Got your power brick. Let's see what it says on there. I don't know if you can see it with the flash. I'll turn that off and go over that too. After done here, and you got your Korean adapter, and they include the U.S. adapter, long grounded, and the DVI cable for it. it looks like it's again longer than I expected. Manual. Uh, it's be all Korean. It's like all the instructions are Korean, but the labels are translated to English. Oh, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna turn this flash off. Flashes off. Then, as some of you want to see the, uh, if you can read that, 
too jittery. And it does have just a standard three prong, so I'm hoping I can just use one of my current monitor powers. Alright, I'm gonna turn the flash back on and pull the monitor out. I did want to show the, the box here too, real quick. Uh, couldn't read this before. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Not too sure about the wattage, if that's actually what it is or not. I don't have a way to test it right now. Okay, here's the monitor, got it out. Here's the base, it's, or the base attachment's kind of, I don't know. I guess it's not too bad, all things considered. And there's the actual base. It's supposed to swivel, I think. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. I might get a desk mount for it if I can find one for cheap. Um, I mean, you can see, looks like it just uses V support uh, adapter. I'm not sure of the size. I'll have to look it up. And again, more labels you can't read, which is kind of good because it has my serial number on it. Uh, and then you got power port, audio, this one uh, I believe was supposed to come with speakers so I don't know if I'll use them but they're there and then the DVI port pretty simple and then while I got it here you got the uh, buttons I'm not sure if this one has an on-screen display or not I didn't buy it for that, I never use it um, after I set it up once so what to do is figure out what to do once um, let's set this down for a second. Okay. And then we got the actual monitor. I have to back up a step or two. Pretty nice size. Uh, the bevel, bevel is a little bit bigger than I thought. But since I'm just using one, um, I don't care really. As long as, again, as long as it works. Um, stickers. Blah blah blah. More of the stuff that was on the box. And then you got your brightness, volume, and power. Which is kind of weird because you got one, two, three, four, five buttons. And then two more, seven, but two aren't labeled. Uh, I don't know. I'm learning as I go here, so maybe it's got an invisible ink or something. Get my spy pen out. Alright, let's get it on the base. Okay, got it on the base. Just basically put it down on it. Wow, it won't focus. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, just set it down on it and um, push a little bit till it clicks. If it doesn't go, just lift it back up, put it down again, and it'll eventually click. If it doesn't, then uh, you got problems. Uh, the swivel, pretty easy. Uh, this is sitting on a bed, so I have to mess with it a little bit. It was supposed to have a tilt, but it doesn't seem to want to... No, uh, it looks like it'll work. Maybe I just need two hands for it. Yeah, probably. So I'm going to go uh, shut down my computer, plug it in, and let's see if it works. Hopefully I have better luck than I do with my system build, huh? Alright. Okay, got it plugged in. I am definitely going to have to change my setup at some point, but I'm anxious and I want to see what this baby can do. I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, let me back up a second here. There's my second monitor. Um, I'm only using that one because it's a little smaller and it'll make it fit on my desk. I have another one here. Um, that's a 23 inch HP. And this is the um, Dell 22-inch touch screen. I don't use the touch anymore, but uh, only because it gets annoying if a bug flies on it or something. Um, especially in the middle of the night, we get things open everywhere. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I got it all plugged in. 
I did uh, use uh, my pre previous monitor's power cable to plug into the brick. Um, it did have something here that I forgot to mention. It does come with a pass-through cable for the audio. I probably won't use it, but I plugged it in anyway. It's not labeled on the back, so I didn't know which one to plug it into, so I plugged it into one, and hopefully that's it. Um, pro tip, before you get it set on your desk, plug in the DVI and the power um, when it, while it's laying down because it's a lot easier. And then I got it plugged into my 60, what is it, 6870 card. Alright, let's hit the power button. lights and that signal of course because I didn't turn the computer on and let's we'll see what happens green Get the bios post on both of them Windows again on both. That is a huge ass screen. I am definitely gonna have to re change my desk around because that's gonna be way too close. Let me see my keyboards right there. Oh, and of course, G18. So I guess I'm gonna pop. Oh, wait, no, I guess it worked. Yeah. Right now I'm hoping I turned off the RAM drive. Yep, looks like I did. And apparently that is now monitor one. But you can see the difference there. Pretty amazing. But uh, I'm going to pause this just for a moment while I get uh, the desktop situated and be right back. Okay, um, got everything moved from this one over to this one. As you can see, it is a glossy screen, but, you know, um, let me see what you think. Um, that doesn't work. That almost works. If I cover it up, there's really not much glare. Um, I just noticed Catalyst just crashed. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but if you look at the time there, the 10 or the 220, um, that was the very edge of my screen before. Um, so you can see how much extra space is there quite a bit oh uh, yeah it does come out of the box really bright um, a lot of things quit working all right one problem at a time um, Brighten this down. Okay, yeah, they're pretty. You just hit them and then they go. Oh, there's a little scuff on the screen. Good thing I had the flash on, I wouldn't have noticed it. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Worked right out of the box. I don't see any dead pixels. Um, I haven't run any programs to look for them yet, but it looks pretty. Oh, that's gonna be a pain. Plastic right in there. You see that? 
That's going to be a pain to get out of there. Alright, well, other than that, everything so far, and of course Catalyst crashing, everything so far seems to be um, pretty much better than expected. I expected uh, a lot more hassle. Um, plugged it in, and it went. Um, now I got to, oh, you can see the refresh rate there too. Um, I was able to get it for 300, um, shipping included, uh, only because uh, they ran out of the ones that I originally ordered. Let's see. Ran out of the ones I originally ordered, which was the non pixel perfect. Um, but if he was willing to give it to me that, you could probably make an offer on this QNX, QNIX, QNIX, whatever, um, for around 300 from, I think it was 349 is what he was asking for. So, um, yeah, so far it looks good. Um, if I have any problems, I will uh, post an update, but so far it doesn't look like I'm going to have any. Alright, thank you. If, if this helped you out at all, please feel free to like it, subscribe, um, what have you.